In the past, from the great and wonderful testimonies we had, let's thank God for the man of God, his servant, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumui. How the Lord has been using him wonderfully, gloriously, mightily for different, different needs met as he ministered the word of God. Let's thank God for him. The testimonies, they are all over the place. We bless God. We magnify God for all that the Lord has done and what the Lord is doing even today. Let's ask for fresh anointing and global anointing for today's ministration. That as he ministers today, signs and wonders we attend the ministration of the word and prayers tonight. Tonight will be special. For you tonight will be special. To all of us tonight will be special. Tonight will be glorious. 
The Lord will visit us in a wonderful way, unprecedented way tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our God anointed Jesus of Nazareth who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. The Lord will be with our Father in the Lord tonight. And great, great things, mighty, mighty things will happen as he ministers the word of God. Great salvation, multitude of people. The kingdom of the devil will be depopulated tonight. And the kingdom of God will receive multitude of people. Let's bless the name of the Lord because the Lord will do that. Great salvation. Mighty, mighty people coming into the kingdom of God. Receiving the salvation of the Lord. Receiving healing for their body. Receiving deliverance for their sicknesses and their diseases and unprecedented blessings in every area of man's life let's pray let's pray let's pray and i want you to pray you will not be left out you will not be left out you won't come here in vain i won't come here in vain my blessings are abundant my blessing will be mine tonight the Lord Jesus Christ will give you solution to your needs and all the mountains of your life they will be rolled away. Tonight is your night. Tonight is the night that the Lord wants to deal with your mountain, with your difficulties, with your problems. Your problems. Your problems. This your problems. is the day of the Lord. This is your day of solution. This is divine solution for all. For all. Uh, mine will not be an exception. Mine will be part of what the Lord will do greatly and mightily today in the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Pray. Pray. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we are grateful unto you and we welcome you mightily and gloriously into this gathering all over the world. Father, we pray your presence will be manifest. Everyone will feel your touch, will see the touch of heaven, will feel the power of heaven, will see the presence of the Lord. And we'll see mountains and difficulties roll away. No problem will be able to stand the prayer and the word of God tonight in the name of Jesus. Glorify yourself in our midst, O God, and let your name be exalted. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We remain standing as we sing from our, the booklet in our hands. Manifest. Confirm. Check.
Jesus, everything. Now I gladly own him as my king. Now my raptured soul can only sing. to me then my burden so found liberty at Calvary the love that drew salvation's plan oh the grace that brought it down to Of that God did span at Calvary. Mercy there was great and grace was free. Pardon there was multiplied to me. Then my burden so found liberty at Calvary. A revamping of our economy, the Lord has led our just superintendent, Pastor W. F. Kumui, to organize this global crusade with the caption Divine Solution for All. Both solution for economic disaster, economic depression, and deprivation, COVID 19 pandemics in various nations is outlined for us in the book of Joel, chapter 2. I read from verse 12. Joel chapter 2, I read from verse 12. Therefore also now, said the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your heart, and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God, for his gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repented him of the evil, who knoweth if he will return and repent, and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a past, call a solemn assembly. Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders. Gather the children and those that saw the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Verse 17. Let the priest the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar, and let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thy heritage to reproach, that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God? Then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. Yea, the Lord, he will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine, and oil, and ye shall be satisfied therewith. And I will, do, I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen. We see that today, sin, wickedness, idolatry, corruption, occultism, have brought reproach and deprivation penury upon us. We should rise up and confess our sins. 
Let's try so upon our thing and let us begin to make our sins confess before the Lord, our shortcomings as individuals, our shortcomings as iniquities, our, as families, our shortcomings and iniquities as nation to the Lord. And let us uh, genuinely repent. Let that be genuine repentance. Because anyone who covers his sins, he cannot prosper. But whosoever confesses and forsakes them, he shall take the mercy of God. If you cover up your sin, we cannot prosper. We cannot get out of the economic problem. But today, the Lord wants us to repent and turn over unto the Lord and yield ourselves open and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that a day won't just lay with you and my people shall never be ashamed. The day has come, the time has come. The Lord will remove all shame from our lives. And you shall know that I am the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God. And none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. Let's pray, Lord, all the shame that has come upon us because of economic disaster. All the shame that has come upon us because of economic deprivation. Lord, remove it from my land. Remove the shame that land. has come over us. Stay all the land. reproach Stay the enemy has put upon us, remove them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The word of God tells us that we should pray for our leaders. In the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. 1 Timothy, chapter 2, I read verses 1 and 2. I exhort therefore that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority. That we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. We have to really pray. A notable man said, it is better to be without a king than to have a bad one. The Lord should give us national leaders. He should give us kings, should give us governors and presidents, through whom godliness and righteousness and justice without compromise will prevail in our nations. Open your mouth and let us pray that God will give us leaders who will reign in righteousness, who will reign in the fear of God, because it is the, the, is the, is the righteousness that leads us a nation. It is righteousness that will really promote a nation. Righteousness will promote families. Righteousness, righteousness, fear of God, living the right, righteous life is what will promote our nations. Let us really pray, Lord, give us leaders who will promote righteousness. Leaders who will promote justice. Leaders who will promote godliness. And we should really pray that God will give us such leaders. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord is saying we should really pray that God will continue to help us and make us to be useful for the glory of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you. We praise your name. Almighty God, we are praying in the name of Jesus that the economy disaster on the land, Lord, let them be removed in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray for our leaders, let them have the fear of God, let them have the mind to rule the people in the right way. Lord, we pray the wisdom to manage the economy, to manage the resources, to take care of the, of the lecture. Give them the wisdom in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, for your answer our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. A bigger amen. Let's have a louder, bigger, divine solution. What is done for others, he can still do for you. It's not impossible. 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 There is no doubting. There is no fear. Put 
to trust in Jesus and the answer is there.
searched for life's meaning Enslaved by the world in my greed Then the door of my prison was open My love or the ransom was paid I was free Oh, I'm free from the fear of tomorrow. I'm free from the guilt of the past. I'm free in my shackles by a glorious song. I'm free with the Lord free at last. I'm free from the guilt that I carry. The door and to life and set free. For oh, when I met Jesus, he made me complete. He forgot the foolish child I used to be. I'm free from the dead of tomorrow. I'm free. My name is Ignatius Monday. I'm, Buja, I'm from Abuja region, the same group. The three times I was devout touch in Enugu, I had almost a year's itches on my high. The first day they gave me out bay in my district, I had severe pain, one of my left highs. I prayed that high bay in that place, in the place that paid me. I pray, say, God, take over. Once I lay that abbey in my high, the pain draws God. As the Lord has done it for me, you will receive your divine solution tonight in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. As the Lord has done it for him, he will do yours also tonight in Jesus' name. Let's have the next testifier. And as uh, she testifies, the next one should be standby, close by. And please, you tell us quickly your name and where you come from, what the challenge was, what God has done for you. Go straight to the point so we can take more. God bless you. We are very soon. We are very soon. Sunana Sunanta Jessica Gabriel. Domita Chuya Kamata. Nibans away Chuya Kamata. So some of the Muade Yakaun is the Kashe Kashe Fulani. Yes, I am Abuja, Buhari, Kenan. She ne muna tazoma yuta taje wanka seta che ma gawone aboya dameni. Sena ge ama yari ngana yuta tano krebeta. Tata tata tagani se yuta tache to bari sujia sibiti sujia sibiti. Se anche mata we se zai mata aiki. Do suka dau gida to kruseta aiki at. I know what I talk of. She may not look at the moon, I chose not yet. Oh, Jesus, yet you will call away ye a doer. Look at you, I do a Jesus yet. Oh, call away ye a doer. Do you in the yaki damwa? Yes, I know I wouldn't damwa. 
amin karishe dum na ko waye ya binci ke jikin sa aka na ga ya mata to ni ma ita bata ga ya mun tuna lokaci din ba da mun ba da sheda godiya ranan farko tarun sai ta ta sa hannu a wuri da yana mata zafi karishe an gama ni ban sani ba har an gama tarun an kai kwanaki da yawa sai ta ta ce ma abin da ya kumbrin mun a a ciki ban sake na gani kuma ba ran da ka da kin ce wai mu an sa hannu gashi kuma na sa hannu sai na je abin ya kare har yanzu ban ji ba to sai na dauke ta mun ka je gidan pastor na memeta ma pastor shine ina so ba da godiya abin da Allah ya yi mata abin da ya yi mata Allah zai yi ma kowa ta wurin ba da fala kalama bawa ubangiji a cikin suna Yesu amen let's quickly have the interpreter praise Thank the lord praise. We are, we are here to give this testimony on behalf of this little baby. She's five years old. They are coming from Buari region, Concross uh, Group, then Estate uh, Re District. Her name is Jessica, as you said, Jessica Gabriel. He said she had a swelling under her abdomen, and they planned to take her to hospital when they got there, and she was booked so that they will operate her. But it was during the divine torch that was hosted from Enugu. And then they went to their district, their location, and they were connected. And when our father the Lord said, during the prayer, you raise up your hand and lay the other hand where you have the problem. And the little baby lay her hand where she had the problem. After the prayer of the man of God, she said she felt as an uprooting something in her body. But she didn't tell the grandmother. She, they left from that program back home. After some days, she now told her, I said, this thing that has been disturbing me, during that program, I raised up my hand, and this is what has happened. They check her, and everything was written out of her life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. The God of miracles is working. We do yours. We take the last one for this time. The rest will be at the end of the program. Very quickly, tell us, and be straight to the point, Make it very brief. God bless you. Praise the Lord. My name is Fash Precious, and I'm from Oruzo Region, Zion Group. I want to thank the Lord for what he did for me during the Divine Church for Total Freedom. Um, three years back, I slipped. I was going to the Bible study, and I slipped, and I dislocated my right lap. So I, that night when I came back, I massaged the lab and the pain reduced, but I didn't know it affected my walking and standing posture. I couldn't walk for long distance and I couldn't stand for a long time. But when I came for the divine to uh, for total freedom last month, during the prayer of the man of God on Saturday, I laid my hand on my right leg and to the glory of God the pain had vanished away praise the Lord hallelujah put your hands together for Jesus the pain vanished and this is another miracle time miracle session for you and all pains all affliction all sicknesses all diseases will vanish from your system from your life in Jesus name a bigger amen now we have the choir as they come up be expectant.
Perfect love that passes out all yes. Oh, I Jesus. He's the water that you drink and never thirst again. My friend. Perfect love that passes out of yes. Oh, I give you Jesus. He's the water that you drink and never thirst again. I give you Jesus. My friend, I give you Praise the Lord. I say praise ye the Lord. Tonight, the Lord is going to revive us. We are going to be taken higher. And the Lord, he couldn't make it because of some other engagement. But tonight, he is here live. And I want to let you know that Pastor Nathaniel Bassi, He's a youth pastor. He's a recording artist. He is a singer as well as a trumpet player. So it's my privilege and honor to bring Pastor Gospel Artist Nathaniel Basse to the podium. People of God, shout hallelujah. If you know that 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 you are living with your divine solution, shout hallelujah. Can we worship the Lord tonight? Let me specially acknowledge the man of God. I celebrate you, sir. Thank you for this privilege, sir.
take the stage, Lord, and have your way. I'm just a vessel and nothing more. When you're done, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. Take the stage, Lord, and have your way. I'm just a vessel and nothing more. When you're done blessing your people, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. Take the stage, take the stage, Lord, Lord Jesus, and have your way. I'm just a vessel. I'm just a vessel and nothing more and nothing more when you're done when you're done please take the glory please take the glory I'm satisfied just to see you glorified when you're done here Please take the glory. We are satisfied just to see you glorified. Oh, when you're done saving your souls of the people, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Oh, have your way, Lord. Have your way. Tell him, have your way. Have your way.
here tonight. He's here to be the From beginning to end, there's no place for us. Father, we lift our hands to God. You are the living God. You are God. From beginning to end, there's no place for us. Calling for light out of darkness. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, you don't need a man to be the God you are. But you have chosen to call me your own. Sing, you are God. You are God. From me. There's no place for argument. You are God. You, you are God all by yourself. Oh, you are the living God. You are God. Hey. From beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself.
right now. The master is here right now. He is here to meet your needs and to set the captives free. Oh, Jesus is here right now. I know the master is here. Is here right now. The Son of God and the Son of David is here right now. He is here to meet every need and to set the captives free. Oh, Jesus is here right now. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Do you believe Jesus Christ is here right now? Do you believe he's here right now? For who? Jesus is here right now for who? For me. For us all. And we receive great, great blessing from him in Jesus' name. When we worship the Lord, he comes down with his power. And he habits the praises of his people. He's here to work wonders. Remember Paul and Silas? What happened to them will happen to you today. All the prison doors will be open. And the shackles will be, all the fetters and shackles will be removed in Jesus' name. We have come to the peak of the program tonight. And it's going to be great. Wonderful. Marvelous, miracle, divine solution for, for, for the man of God, our pastor, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi is ready, is coming up now. Welcome him as he comes to minister to us again tonight. You are welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. If you are there and you know that Jesus is there right now, I said praise the Lord. Divine solution for everyone. Miracle for everyone. Salvation for everyone. And the divine touch in your life for everyone, for you even tonight, in Jesus' name. Father, we well, thank you tonight. I will bless your name. We thank you, Lord, because you love everyone. And your mercy, and your power, and your love, and your compassion, and your miracle touch is for everyone. And therefore, Lord, I pray tonight, no one will escape your power and their solution in Jesus' name. Confirm your words in every life. Thank you because we know you have done, done it. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. Once again, I welcome everyone. All those of us who are here, Papa Ground, I pray that your coming will not be in vain. In Jesus' name. In all the churches and all the churches that are connected, all the countries and all the continents, I pray that the divine touch will take effect in every one of your lives in Jesus' name. Tonight, we're coming for the divine touch. By the way, how does that divine touch come upon you? How does that divine solution come in your life? How do you connect? What actually connects us with the touch of heaven, the touch of God, the touch of Christ, what connects us to the Savior, what connects us to the Lord, what connects us 
to miracles even now today is one word gospel. Somebody help me shout the word gospel. I'm reading to you from Acts chapter 14. And we're looking at verse 7. It says in Acts chapter 14, verse 7, and there they preached the gospel. That's the word right there. There they preached the gospel. And then I come to verse 8. It says in verse 8, and there was a certain man at Lystra, and there is a certain person there. Papa ground. And there's a certain person there where you are. Tonight is your night. You are the one and the power of God will touch you tonight in Jesus' name. There's a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his speech, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had word. And then we're told in verse 9, it says in verse 9, the same heard Paul speak. Like you are hearing tonight, what you are hearing will translate into salvation in your life. Will translate into miracle in your life. And will translate to divine solution in your life in Jesus' name. The same that certain man, that impotent man, that helpless man, that seemingly hopeless man, that same man had Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed. Had faith to be healed. You know, tonight, that is what happens in every life. Because faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. You hear the gospel, the gospel of salvation, the gospel of power, the gospel of healing, the gospel of deliverance, the gospel of total solution, divine solution in your life. And when you hear and you respond to what you are hearing, a miracle must take place in your life. Say, miracle will take place in my life. The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him, and perceiving that he had faith to be healed. Verse 10 says, He said with a loud voice, Stand upright on thy feet. And he lived and walked. Miracle. And he lived and walked. Divine solution. And he lived, he jumped up, and he walked. Power came from heaven as he's coming to you tonight. Say it's coming to me tonight. Today we're talking, as I look at that passage, I'm talking to you on the gospel of divine solution. The gospel of divine solution. That's what gospel means, the good news of divine solution. Good news is coming your way. And that good news will work wonders in your life tonight in Jesus' name. I've read the story to you. As you look at the story, what do you find? Number one, you find the impotence of the man. That's our situation. What's our situation? We're helpless. What's our situation? We're looking for solution. What's our situation? We're having problems, and we have not found solution to the problem. The, uh, the, the impotence of the man our situation number two the importance of the message the gospel message the powerful message the heavenly message the message concerning christ who died for us who rose again and who will save everyone who believes the importance of that message that is our solution point number two then the importance of the message our solution number three the impartation impartation something is coming upon you tonight impartation somebody shout impartation power in your life glory in your life solution in your life and then whatever it is that has tied you down Tonight is the night that there will be an impartation in your life in Jesus' name. Number three now, 
the impartation of the miracle, our salvation. Number one, our situation. Number two, the solution. Number three, the salvation. Let's come to number one now. Number one, the impotence of the man, our situation. What we are saying is the condition of that man, the helplessness of that man, and the hopelessness of that man, and the poverty of that man, and the inability in that man, that's like you, that's like me, that's like every man, the impotence of the man, our situation. Let me read it to you again in Acts chapter 14, reading from verse 8. And there such a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his speech, being a cripple from his mother's womb, look at this, who never had walked. Who never had walked. How do you say that's a situation? Number one, he could not walk by himself. Without age, without help, without power, without the sustaining power of the miracle working power of the name of Jesus, by himself, he couldn't do anything. That's the situation of every man on earth. We're born into this world. That's why David said, in, my, in sin did my mother conceive me. In iniquity was I born. Because every man, since the fall of Adam and Eve, every man became hopeless and became helpless. And without him, we can do nothing. That's why Job said that anyone that is born of a woman is unclean. Because without the help coming from above, we cannot have any power, any strength. To stand, stand straight, and stand tall, and do what we need to do. Number one, that's a situation. The man could not walk by himself. And you cannot walk the right way, and the proper way. And you cannot go up and do what you ought to do by yourself. Without him, you can do nothing. But thank God tonight, Christ is there. By your side, Christ is there. Anywhere you are, in your home, in a local church, in an hotel, anywhere you are tonight, this is coming to you. And what you cannot do by yourself, the Lord will do for you tonight. In Jesus' name. Look at that verse again. Who never had watch. Who never had watch. Not even with any support. Give him some support. Material support, spiritual support, religious support, and psychological support, all the same, even with a support. This man could not walk, he never had walked. We have gone through many things in life, and we thought, if I have this support, the support of education, maybe I can rise up, and I can walk, and I can get anywhere I want. Maybe I can even get to heaven, walk straight into heaven, without, uh, even with the support of psychology, of philosophy.